Good morning. Today we are talking about IGAs and why on earth they're so dadgum important. Oh, and by the way, ignore the hair. It's really, really dark. So we'll get to that later. All right, let's hit the ground running today. Today we're talking about IGAs. We've been in this little bit of a mini series talking about getting back to the basics. And IGAs are simply income generating activities. Okay guys, in real estate we get distracted by a lot of the things that really don't matter, by the events and the parties and the classes and uh, the decoration or the design work of all the social media stuff. So what should you actually be focusing on in order to generate income because quite frankly it's hard as an agent when you're pushing and pushing for months and months and you feel like you're not making any progress or you're not hitting your goals so let's kind of break this down into two main categories first of all we're going to start with the obvious ones uh, the ones that everyone kind of thinks of and we'll break them down the first one is going to be cold calling right? So you're, you're calling FISBOs, investors, maybe expireds. These are the things you need to be doing. Yes, they suck. No one loves it. Um, but they are an important part of your business because you never know when a no is going to turn into a yes or when one no on the last phone call becomes a yes. And if you need help with those conversations on how to build them intelligently, let me know. I'd love to help you as best I can. Uh, the next one is going to be a little easier, but still, for some people, it's actually much harder. Your sphere of influence. Guys, we talked last week about getting out there and talking to people. And if you can't talk to the people who know and love you, how are you going to survive as an agent? So you've got to be actively reaching out to people to find out just how their day is going. Guys, sometimes it's just a matter of talking face to face or over the phone just to catch up. You don't have to go with an agenda. You just want to check and see how they're doing. Oh, and by the way, if you have any real estate questions, make sure you let me know because I'm your local agent. I'm your person, right? And of course, they yeah, have right, right, right. But it's a secondary effect. So you're really focusing on just maintaining that relationship with that person and staying top of mind with them. And then we've also got like walking the streets, you know, guys, sometimes it's really great to just walk a neighborhood and just say, Hey, I'm here. If you need anything, I'm the expert in this area. Uh, I know there's a lot of, um, open doors and other eye buyers coming in, but I do advise that people really just work with a realtor, even if that's someone else other than me, that you just have an advocate in that process. Um, so there's just tons of things you can say and do with people if you're just walking around. And something that's on the bottom of the totem pole for me, and this is probably going to surprise a few people, is social media. This is an area which can be an income generating activity, but in reality, it takes more time than those cold calls do. I was driving all over Timbuktu yesterday, and I have this new challenge where I'm trying to call so many of my clients every day. And I was like, there's no way I'm driving all over the place. And guys, I called 10 people in like 30 minutes and actually talked to most of them. So it's really not going to take a lot of time. So sorry, guys, your excuses, bloop, they're out the window. Um, so just focus on those income generating activities. But on the flip side, there are some things that most people don't see as generating activities, but they're actually extremely critical to your business and will make those cold calls and severe of influence calls so much better. So first of all, your planning strategy and calendar. Guys, if you don't have a plan to work, you will be useless throughout the day. You, the things will get ahead of you. You won't know what to do. I always, always recommend, and most of the most genius people out there who talk about developing your business are going to talk about having a plan. You have a plan and you work the plan and you adjust the plan. But if you don't have a plan, you're going to wander aimlessly and you're going to waste a ton of time. So every morning or every evening, depending on what's better for you, you need to go through your systems and figure out what is your income generating activities for today? What's got to be done? What has to be done first? And then what would be nice? That's simple, not complicated. doesn't have to be in detail. It depends on your personality type. And then you also have to decide when you need to outsource something. Guys, sometimes you're doing too much and, and I'm guilty of this. Someone was like, oh, you need to hire a virtual assistant for that. I'm like, I'd love to. 
um, but it's hard to let go. So I feel your pain, but sometimes you just have to let it go, okay? Sometimes outsourcing something as simple as your social media or as simple as uh, postcards that you're sending out might be the best play for the success of your business. If you're still new, you might have to do it yourself, but when you get to a point where success is greater, spin out in the field, you don't wanna be stuck in the office. So guys, it's a very tight line to walk, but sometimes outsourcing can be the best thing. And then another thing people don't think of is research. Sometimes before you make those cold calls to those FISBOs, you need to actually do some research on the property so you're talking intelligently. And if you throw a fact out at them at the very beginning of that conversation, because you've got like two seconds to get their attention on the phone, you're going to be much more well prepared. And if you say, actually, I have something I want to send to you about the property and some of the amenities that people find interesting, can I bring that over to your home and drop it off? Those kind of things. So it's if you do the research, you're going to find more much, much better results. All right, guys, thanks so much for staying. I hope you'll go out there and kick some butt this week. Remember, focus on your income generating activities, whether they're obvious or not obvious, and don't get lost in all the little details throughout the throughout the day. Make a plan, have a plan, perform the plan. All right. Oh, and uh, the hair. Uh, let me know what you think. <laughs> And if you have questions or topics that you want to talk about, put them down in the comments below. I would love to make videos that are more tailored to what you have questions on. And I appreciate you guys. And of course, if you ever want to close with capital, no matter where it is or what office, I'm your girl. Talk to you soon. Bye.